EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for September 22nd, 2021. Autumn arrives today at 3.20 this afternoon, and the first full day of autumn, of course, will be tomorrow, and both days are going to be starting off the new season on the unsettled side. Uh, not so much today unless you were out in our western counties, but I think uh, most of us will get a good soaking uh, here on Thursday as that frontal boundary moves through. But I do have some good news for the opposite side of that, which we'll get into this video. It is Wednesday, of course. That means the Wednesday video is proudly sponsored by the Walters and Zerinsky team at Keller Williams Real Estate. And that's uh, Michael Walters and Sarah Zerinsky. And they've been helping uh, buyers and sellers with all the real estate needs throughout the entire Lehigh Valley and Poconos region with over 20 years of real estate experience. So they not only serve the Lehigh Valley, but also portions of Berks, Bucks, Carbon, Monroe, and Schuylkill counties. So reach out to the Walter Zerinsky team at Keller Williams Real Estate to get your up-to-the-minute local real estate forecast on inventory, market conditions, current rates and pricing, and their number uh, to be reached at is 610-867-8888. Proud sponsors of the Wednesday forecast video starting the beginning of this month. Uh, and now we have, uh, again, we have this unsettled period coming in today. Uh, it is not going to be a situation where we have a, a lot of rain today unless you're going to have, even even out in our western zones, we had a continuation of, of some showers that already started moving into central PA overnight. As a matter of fact, this is the uh, NAM high-res feature simulator radar showing what it should look like at the time I recorded the, the video right around midnight. And there's the current radar, uh, very good and very close to where that is. Okay, so the NAM is on point where that is. It's already getting some showers out here in our far western counties uh, to include State College and uh, some of these western counties that we cover are westernmost counties that we do cover for the EPAWA My Pocket Meteorologist Program. So already getting some showers working in there tonight, and that is expected to continue going into tomorrow morning. Uh, this uh, frontal boundary is going to be very moving uh, moving eastward here. Uh, so you're going to have some showers out ahead of it. You're going to have a southerly or southeasterly wind flow, and it's going to be a little bit picking up a little bit of a breeze today. Not so much crazy wind here but you'll have a little bit of a breeze picking up and some gusts in the 20s today mainly this afternoon onward and again overnight and then once we have a frontal boundary moving through ahead of that there's going to be a, a pretty tight pressure gradient with high pressure sitting off to our east low pressure ramping up here in the uh right over the uh, southern great lakes region at the same time and we're going to have a Almost a north-south aligned front, a meridional front, which is a, a north-south front here uh, that is going to take shape and move through our region and give us a, an opportunity for about a three to four, maybe five hour period of moderate to heavy rainfall when it moves through. Okay, so that's outside of that, you're looking at just kind of showery stuff and that's it. So it's really, I mean, you're getting a lot. I'm seeing a lot of hype out there about this. About that, this is, oh man, we're getting all this rain. Uh, it, relax with that okay so we are going to get some rain out of that it's nothing you know over the top it's just, we're not talking about like a tropical storm type deal where we're dealing with four to six inches plus of rain or anything like that uh, i'll cover that here in this video too so we have this front that's a, that's a north south alignment you have a southeasterly wind component that it will eventually become south southeasterly okay and that will uh, enhance rainfall a little bit as this moves through. And, this, uh, and the heaviest period for this rain to move through is going to be uh, as early as, as Thursday afternoon in our western areas. But it might wait until mid to late evening to get to our eastern areas, eastern parts of Pennsylvania and New Jersey, Delaware. It's going to take a while to get, to get further east. This is a very slow-moving front. And it's all in association with this area of low pressure that's cut off over the Great Lakes region. Okay, uh, As this pushes through... It's going to be that rain, the heavier rain is going to move through overnight and uh, evening and overnight. And then you're going to have uh, this taper off to showers very late at night. So when we come get to Friday, you're talking about clouds giving way to sun in most areas. Eastern areas, as you get closer to, into New Jersey or close to the shore points, you could have some showers lingering in the morning. Okay, If you're west of the Delaware River, Probably just clouds in the morning, and then just maybe if you're up really early, maybe like four or five o'clock in the morning to walk the dog or something before work. Um, God bless you. I don't get up that early. But if you are going to be out there that early getting up to do something, you could still have some rain still lingering. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be the very tail end of that at that point. And then you're going to have improving conditions on Friday. Uh, again, clouds giving way to sun. It should be mostly sunny by the end of the day 
here on Monday. Here's the NAM high res future simulated radar. And again, this is looking at current radar. Uh, so we move this forward into the morning. And I'm going to use a uh, the one the one kilometer above ground level reflectivity. It gives you a better representation of what's actually falling and reaching the ground. So this is uh, showing just the concentration of these showers. These are just intermittent showers, mainly targeting our central PA locations. That's it. It does not mean you cannot have a, sh a shower further east here, but it'll be more of the stray variety in the far eastern parts of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware during the day here on Wednesday. And if I switch this over to composite reflectivity, it just picks up on everything, drizzle and all that nonsense, right? So you still have these scattered showers. The concentration, again, is going to be in central Pennsylvania or western counties, and this is during the day on Wednesday. But you still have this uh, isolated stray pop-up stuff that could still rotate through. It's not impossible you see a light stray brief shower in those locations, okay? But the concentration is going to be in central PA today. That's how Wednesday uh, unfolds. And the same thing should be said for the overnight period. But then once we get into late in the overnight, and in, especially in a Thursday morning, you see this, this uh, front getting uh, this north-south south alignment. And it's going to very slowly push eastward. Again, this is a three to as much as five hour wide band of rain that will be moderately uh, moderate to heavy. So you can get some, uh, you know, quarter to a half inch an hour rates in there for, you know, three, four hours. And you can add up pretty quickly, right? Uh, but this is going to very slowly push eastward during the course of the day here on Thursday. So for our western zones, we're looking at the afternoon on Thursday, but it's not going to get until it, we get to late evening, mid to late evening before it gets over the eastern side of the state and Delaware. Okay. And you see some, you see some reds popping up here. So there is some heavy rain involved with this, but this band is only about three, four, maybe as much as five hours wide. I think it's less than five, but generally a three to four hour window here where you have this band moving through. Other than that, out in front of this, you're just dealing with scattered showers. You see that? So this is not really a big of a deal until this band comes through. And then you get a couple hours there of the heavier rain, which then presses into New Jersey uh, by Friday morning. This is looking at Friday morning, 8 o'clock. You can see it's east of the Delaware River at that point. So again, if you're up early, we go back to 6 a.m. here on Friday, just to give you an idea. There's 6 a.m. It's in the f just barely west of the, uh, of the Delaware River from just east of the scranton Wilkesbury area, just east of Allentown, and uh, just east of Chester. Pennsylvania. Okay, so this is uh, moving eastward at this point at 6 a.m. Behind this, if I switch this over to a uh, the total cloud cover projection, look what happens. The sun comes out for almost immediately behind that front. Once that moves through, you get clearing skies, and it should continue to uh, trend in that fashion for the remainder of the day. So Friday looks pretty good. Here is what we're talking about with the winds. Winds are going to be picking up today. You're going to have some gusts in the 20s, and uh, same thing in the overnight. Once we get into Thursday, though, this is all ahead of this frontal boundary. This is not with the frontal boundary itself. This is all a southeasterly wind component or south-southeasterly wind component pressing uh, north uh, to the northwest or north-northwest, okay? And you have some gusts here ahead of that boundary. It's not with the boundary itself, but just ahead of that boundary, you could have some on Thursday when that uh, boundary is about to push through to our eastern areas. You have some gusts that might get up into the 30 to 35 degree mile per hour range at times. These are gusts, not sustained winds. So the wind's not going to be crazy, but given the fact you're going to have some rain involved here, it won't take as much. The thresholds are a little bit lower for what could produce outages with branches and trees and things like that. So uh, we do have to watch for that and say, you know, there's not a big deal. I don't think there's a storm prediction center has a severe weather threat for today. I, I don't really agree with, they have a marginal risk. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's a non-zero chance for severe weather, but I'm really not liking the severe weather chances with this and the damaging wind aspect that they mentioned in their forecast. I really don't see it. I think the lapse rates are not good enough to produce that kind of severe weather. So what about rain? Here's what we're looking at for rain. And if you focused on on, on the heavier amounts here, which are in the red, uh, these are focusing on areas of elevation. These are all areas of elevation in here, right here. These are all areas of elevation. That whole area there and uh, please don't make fun of that drawing there because I know what you're thinking. Uh, but you have a southeasterly wind component pushing up against the mountain. So you have a little bit of an orographic lift component to this. Could squeeze out some extra moisture. Aside from that, where a lot of us are looking at an inch to inch and a half of rain in the lower elevations outside of the elevation areas. But those elevation areas could see two, maybe even two and a half inches of rain in a few spots uh, with that. Because you have that extra component with the orographic lift pushing up against the 
uh, the leeward side of the mountains, which is the southeasterly slope here of the mountains. It's going to push up against that, kind of wring out extra moisture a little bit. That's how that works. So again, behind this, once we get past that frontal boundary here, we are clear sailing on Friday, improving conditions on Friday. And then once we get into the weekend, it's going to maintain mostly sunny skies. We're going to have a very nice stretch, folks. And I said, I mentioned this yesterday, we're going to have a delightful stretch here for probably the next two weeks. Okay, you might have an occasional frontal boundary pass through. Here's one on Saturday night that's trying to come through. Moisture starved just kind of falls apart. Uh, so no precipitation expected as of now for Saturday night. But other than that, every day you're mostly sunny. Same thing here for Sunday. Same thing for Monday. Same thing for Tuesday. We might have a system coming here, bringing, a, again, a weak cold front, quick showers, uh, you know, Tuesday night. We'll see how that works out. This might not even be here. GFS doesn't even have it. Okay, so, um, you know, the whole the general theme here is mostly dry going forward and temperatures kind of like in that 70, 72, maybe 74 on a few days ahead of one of these cold fronts. And that goes right back down to 70 again. So those are pretty good temperatures. Those are kind of the temperatures you can know, open up the windows and doors. Uh, if there's a crisp mornings here with temperatures getting down to near 50 degrees at night. So you have some crisp mornings the next morning you need kids to the bus stop. Or if you want to, uh, you know, fire up the... Uh, you know, the fire pit outside and, and sit outside and enjoy yourself. That's a good time to do that. So uh, I just wanted to discuss that real quick because there's really not too much going on the rest of the week once we get past, um, you know, early Friday morning. After that, we start improving and we should be pretty good to go uh, for a while, it looks like. And it looks like, um, you know, as far as this uh, precipitation is concerned with this front frontal boundary, again, uh, timing was all over the place this week. I think we're pretty much focused on where we want to be as far as what the timing should be and the amounts we should be seeing from this system. If I need any further updates with that, I will do have one more update on Thursday morning if we have any last minute changes, but I don't expect that at this time. I'm EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for September 22nd, 2021. Have a great Wednesday. Welcome to autumn.